Hi, my name is Atul Purohit. I work as the head of technology for Nokia Cloud and Network Services. Uh, and here today we have with us our partners, uh, Bounteous Echo Light, uh, General Manager Sanjeev. Sanjeev, how are you doing today? I'm doing very well. Thank you, Atul. Perfect. Thanks for joining us. So we have signed up uh, with Sanjeev's organization as our partners for network monetization platform. Now, Sanjeev, one of the things that um, we have been hearing from our customers is uh, their persistent problem with the network monetization. So they have been making a lot of investments over the last few years, uh, but they have not been able to generate enough revenue uh, to make new money. Uh, Nokia has launched Network as Code, Network Monetization Platform as a solution. So tell us about your view on how are you seeing the market, what's your feedback from the market engagements? Sure, thank you Atul. And thank you for the opportunity to partner with Nokia. I think we are quite excited as Bounty Acolyte to work with Nokia on monetization of the 5G network. I think your question is quite pertinent. What we hear from our telecom customers is there's a lot of investment which has gone into the 5G side but the, there is a gap between the investment and the returns which they've been able to make out of it. Typically, the challenges we hear from the telecom service providers are at the three levels. One, how do you open up the network to allow developers or other service providers to make use of the APIs so they can build applications? That's the first one. Then the second one is which applications will kind of make money? I think there are a lot of use cases, test cases being tried out. And the third thing we see is that there needs to be an ecosystem of platforms where this becomes more of uh, a platform where application service providers, developers, the telecom service providers can connect almost on an automated way. So it becomes a continuous mode of developing applications. So I think that's the third piece which is probably in the medium term. And I think the immediate challenge is let's build applications, let's build a lot of applications so we can go to the market and try to make a lot of money out of the investments into 5G. Perfect, absolutely. Thank you so much for the introduction. Now, one of the things that 5G has promised over the last few years of existence is uh, opening up to industry verticals. Now, I hear that you have recently uh, done an acquisition, you've been merging two companies. Uh, how are you seeing the market with two of your companies coming together? What sort of vertical industries, et cetera, that you are able to address? Great question. So. We merged as Bounteous Ecolite, and we predominantly work in now telecom, healthcare, financial services, consumer and dining. And the exciting about, thing about it is a lot of the 5G use cases cut across telecom, right? So obviously telecom is the first uh, application portfolio. But we are seeing application in energy sector. We are seeing application in healthcare. We are already looking at a use case together with Nokia on how do we use 5G in the ambulance scenario, where ambulance gets connected to the hospital in a real-time basis. Similarly, we see a lot of applications in the energy and utilities uh, vertical, where I've spent few years before this job, where a lot of the investment is going into smart cities. So how do you build smart cities infrastructure using energy, utilities, and the telecom? And there are a lot of 5G applications into that. Interestingly, we also see a lot of applications in the dining and consumer space being able to use location-based services when you are close to um, a dining space or a consumer space. So you can get a very personalized offer, you know, two for one for that particular consumer uh, shop when you're very close to that shop. A Lot of these things have been tried to a certain extent. And I think once we have the network as a code platform being opened up almost as a service to everyone, I think you'll see mushrooming of these applications. Some of them will fail, uh, but I think that's fine. I think we need to see a lot more of these yeah. across all of these industry segments so that then we will see which are the ones which will start to make money for the end customer as well as then for service providers or uh, for Nokia. It's really good to, good to hear because I think with the, with the two companies coming together, I think your focus is kind of going beyond telecoms in quite a few other verticals as well, right. uh, which is amazing. Now, as a system integrator, as an application developer, what are the sort of challenges that you see uh, in this thing taking off big time, right? So what, what do you think, are, are there any levels of challenges, any, anything that the operators need to do differently than how they've done in the past? So just from your eyes, how do you see the entire stack? I think as a company, uh, Bounty Acolyte is known for providing cutting edge digital transformation solutions to pretty much all the ambish, most ambitious brands in the world. Uh, and our, Differentiation has always been on 
how do we get some of the best engineering and consulting talent but we pride ourselves on delivering business outcomes for our customers and one of the things which come as a challenge from uh, 5g monetization use cases is when i when i am getting my money back so that's a very that's a basic question or everything which is on the mind of the cio or the product organizations i think partly it is lack of innovation or lack of enough trying into the use cases as i said unless you have tried a number of use cases some of them will fail some of them will work out we will not see which are the ones you want to make money so i think one challenge is immediately can we use the nokia apis we started to look at the healthcare applications as i said we see we are seeing energy and water we are seeing dining and consumer so we want to do a lot more of these applications so that people can see these work and some of them will start to make money so that's i think the immediate immediate challenge to show things which are working in the medium to long term basis i think the challenge would be to run these applications in a platform way in a platform thinking as i said earlier is there a platform which any developer in the world can connect to to utilize the 5g apis and build an app without a system integrator or without nokia or even without a service provider getting involved yeah. so it becomes a self sustaining way of the platform absolutely exposing itself in terms of all the applications so i think that will be the medium to long term challenge but the immediate challenge is like show me the money you know let's build a lot of these applications and figure out which are the ones which will make money perfect then finally uh, last thing from my side um, what are the sort of sort of things that you believe nokia and service providers can bring towards you so that you can start making use of the capability and start building applications sure so i think the first thing would be as we've already started to discuss providing those apis uh, i think on the service provider side there needs to be a little bit more leap of faith on trying out a lot of things because the 5g monetization use cases have been there for a while but the, there's been lack of uh, let's say trying out a lot of ideas because in an agile environment if you don't try quite a few things you don't know which is going to work but equally we are also quite excited by the fact that because we work across five to six industry segments now we are seeing that pull from the end consumer so we are seeing as i said what can you do for a location based service for a dining customer or what can you do for a smart cities so we are seeing that pull from them but we are not seeing how quickly we can build it along with nokia and a service provider so i think what will be very useful is if we can get to that platform thinking already at least for a set of use cases we should be able to go live with like a new application within 3 months i think that's the expectation from some of our customers yeah. if we can get to a poc and a use case done in 3 months i think that'll be fantastic as you have just heard we have just signed the partnership with bounty as ecolite and this is part of the growing ecosystem on the demand side partnerships of nokia's network as code platform and hopefully with sanjeev we'll see a lot of these applications coming up in different verticals over next few months and quarters thank you so much sanjeev for the interview really nice talking to you and here's together for greater success thank you thank you atul we are quite excited at bounty cycle light to partner with nokia to deliver some of the cutting edge solutions to the market